our first product is artemisinin, mm-hmm. uh, which is an anti-malarial compound uh, that we've licensed to and are partnered with Sanofi Aventis. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that, that product is intended uh, for the sub-Saharan African market. Uh, and, you know, the success of that product is really something, you know, most, most products that we get involved in in my history has been, you know, you, you measure success by the amount of gross margin you can achieve or the amount of sales you can achieve in a period of time. With this product, it's really the number of lives you could save. Mm-hmm. And we're targeting 600,000 lives a year uh, as what I, uh, what I consider to be the successful outcome mm-hmm. of the Artemisinin project. Mm-hmm. So that's our first product. Uh, it's a project that was initially funded by the Gates Foundation. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's really what's given us the head start on a technology platform that can be adapted uh, and transferred to products beyond the pharma industry. Our second product is a renewable diesel. Mm-hmm. Um, and the renewable diesel is a pretty unique molecule. It is a, um, it's a hydrocarbon that's fully compatible with today's infrastructure. And an interesting way to think about it, it's, it's a uh, renewable replacement for uh, petroleum-based diesel. The product is as good or better than petroleum-based diesel, and it's from a renewable source. So that's our second product. We have jet fuel as a follow-on, and then we have several chemicals, uh, isoprene being one of them, uh, that are markets we're currently looking at, uh, for renewable chemicals. So it's uh, pharmaceutical, really focused on saving lives, uh, focused on making or doing our part to have a positive impact on the planet, and then looking at what we can do from the renewable uh, plastics or renewable chemical side of the world. On the, uh, on the malaria drug uh, or the, or the, uh, the artemisinin, do I understand you right that you're going to sell that at cost, at your cost? Uh, actually, uh, we're not going to sell it at all. Uh, Our view and in our initial agreement with the Gates Foundation was that uh, we would give the technology away for free for distribution to the developing world. Uh, Our our view is that as we study the market, we realize that the reason why children die today of malaria uh, beyond beyond catching it. So you've got a great opportunity to prevent it with nets and other, other mechanisms. But once they get it, the only reason why they die for the most part is that they can't afford the medicine. So our whole focus has been how do we reduce the cost and make it affordable, and we want to do our part to reduce the cost by uh, taking out the cost of the highest ingredient that goes into uh, an active treatment today. And that ingredient, you know, was basically $2.40 to $2.50 of the cost that we're trying to take down to $0.24 cents by taking any margin or taking any sales uh, or license opportunity from the product away from the market. And have the other, <clears throat> excuse me, have the other suppliers to the, and to, in the supply chain, have they agreed to, to similar kind of treatment, or are they still going to profit from this? Uh, I, yeah, I don't think they're in the same mindset that we are. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, you know, how, how did you get in that mindset? Did you have a debate about this? Was it clear and everybody was on one side, or, or how, did it, how did that conversation go? There was really uh, not much debate. I mean, it, if, I think the interesting thing about this is it started off as an interesting science experiment. Hmm. Uh, and because of that, there wasn't debate. It was like, wait a sec, we get to do great science. Hmm. The Gates Foundation gets to pay for it. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, we get to distribute it and save lives. Now, you know, what's wrong with that picture, right? So it, it, it started off really uh, on that basic premise. I see. 